Alright. So. These are all the muscles in the body. Sunday and I just came back from church. I'm so tired. Um, let me. Okay. So I, why is my room always such a mess? My room is always a mess whenever I like need to go somewhere and I have to like get ready. I leave my room a complete mess with all all the clothes on the tables and everything. I just, this happens every single time. All right. Also, my lips may be a little blue and my teeth too because I just ate blueberries. They stain my mouth blue. Outfit of the day, a little denim dress with a little um, little jacket light jacket and also because bags are a part of the outfit and a yellow bright yellow bag ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. basically what i was doing is i made a little book for all the muscles in the body because i am taking an anatomy and physiology class for muscles there are so many muscles in your body more than i imagined um and like, it's okay, like memorizing them. But the thing is, you have to memorize um, a lot of things about each muscles, like the insertion, origin, uh, action, what it does. And they have a lot of different op actions. Each muscle, <laughs> for so for each muscle, I think there's like, there's a lot of muscles, guys. Uh, I'll write here how many muscles in the body there are in total and so and each of them have several different actions that are a little and, and some muscles are similar to each other but they have like one or two things that are a little bit different and then there's also like insertion and origin as i said some of them doesn't have like simply like two attachments but they have like multiple attachments and you have to memorize all the bone markings as well because those are where the muscles attach um, and there are a lot of bone markings um, which i memorized uh, which i studied but oh my goodness muscle the muscle unit is just a different a whole different level of um, memorizing compared to like the bones and like the tissues and stuff like that there's just a lot of different um like purposes that each muscles have and there are so many muscles oh. like you know normally you would just think of, oh this is my arm biceps triceps it's much more than that there's like superficial muscles there's deep muscles and of course like for those of those people who already study this and like they got it they're like ah, oh, it wasn't that bad but right now i'm in the learning stage of trying to memorize get it in my head and really know these muscles so it's just a hard stage of that learning um stage where i'm like a little bit overwhelmed um but yeah yeah putting in a lot of effort right now to go it, yeah it's hard okay so, but the good news is my anatomy and physiology class the lecture class doesn't require me to know all of these muscles, just like a couple that the professor wants us to, you know, know. But I, since um, I want to go into the healthcare field, I like I personally want to know all of these muscles because I have to know them anyway. You know, I have to learn it anyway. So why not just learn it now? You know, um, when I have it in front of me. So that's why I'm going through the pain of trying to memorize all of these muscles. 
but for class, honestly, it's not that bad. Uh, what the professor wants us to know, not that bad, but I'm making it hard. I'm making my own life hard because <laughs> I want to know everything because I've been studying it anyway. Anyway, <laughs> so what I did is I'll show you guys. Um, so I made a little, little, like a booklet of all the muscles. So I organized um, like the different muscles into the tables. Uh, this is, it's actually from the textbook, but I thought it was so useful because it summarized everything. And I was looking at this with my iPad and it hurt my eye because like there's a lot of pages, you know, there's a lot of uh, tables here. So it, it was like hard on my eyes to stare at my iPad. Um, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna be studying this for a while. I'm probably gonna, if I print it out and make a book out of it, I'll probably keep it for a while. So um, I just made a book, printed a little book. So first here are like the face muscles. Um, your are chin is swelling. These are more chin is swelling. Uh, neck, respiration, abdominal wall, muscle in the back, the pelvic floor, the shoulder, the arm. Uh, these are the elbow and forearm. Forearm is this part of the body. Oh my gosh, the forearm is so complicated, you guys. Because probably so many are like messenger, um, all different muscles. So official D is more the pronation of the fingers, you know, like this way, this way, pronation, supination. And then we have the wrist and the hand. Look at all of these muscles for the wrist and the hand, y'all. We gotta appreciate our body. Like, all of these muscles are working for us to do simple things in our daily lives. Muscles of the hand, our butt, buttocks, um, our thigh, you know, our legs, knee, oh, sorry, yeah, knees, not the legs. Legs are actually this part, this is the leg. So the thigh, technically we call this whole thing the leg, but to be more like, anatomically accurate only the this part of the lower appendage is the leg this part is just like the thigh you know and so i made this into like one um book there's a lot so i'm just gonna um put like sticky notes on the ones that the professor really wants me to know so I know what to focus on for the exam, and then the other ones I can just study on my own. And also, I bought these little like sleeves, plastic sleeves, from Amazon for like five dollars for like a hundred, a hundred sleeves. Good deal. So I have like a ton of plastic sleeves, and I make a lot of booklets like this. Like, uh, I made one for like all the lab vocabulary of the, for the semester. So I already printed those out and then made a little booklet because I use that a lot when I like review the unit. So very useful. Okay, time to study. Hello, Mr. Bori. <laughs> what you doing? He is chilling at the side of my bed. Oh yeah, you comfortable? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, you guys got just got punched. Hey guys, good morning. So today I am going uh, to volunteer at my hospital. I wanted to get there early because the person who, oh, she's such a sweet person. <laughs> uh, she actually trained me she volunteers right before me but i wanted to go there like 20 minutes early so i can see her and then um and then like ask her if there's any like special things i should know about the patients that are coming today um because yeah we need to there are special like things that we need to know um and how to like deal with those uh special patients and how to greet them and stuff so i wanted to go about 20 to 30 minutes and then ask her about uh, those patients. Oh my gosh. And uh, just double check because it's my first time volunteering solo 
um, every time I did it with her so she was like training me like teaching me how to do things and today I just wanted to try things solo but still check up with her um, to see what kind of patients are coming and um, to make sure she leaves some of those paperworks um, because I they're very useful because um, she prints out like a list of patient names and all their uh, details um, and we usually get rid of them because um, patients have their privacy for their you know their private information um, so she usually um, shreds them but I want to stop her from shredding them because I need it for my shift um, so I wanted to go early so I need to stop uh, talking and get there okay I just parked and it's the sunniest parking spot ever so I know my car is gonna get super hot when I come when I'm back so I'm gonna put this little shade thing so it's not too hot when I come back okay I arrived five minutes before 12 so I'm slightly early but that's good because I need the paperwork all right bye guys hello I am back from volunteering I actually am back home I'm so tired so today I worked at the front desk and oh my goodness, we have a lot of things to do. Um, so we're like the gatekeeper and then when like an emergency case happens, I'm the first person to like interact with that um, patient. Like this woman who was experiencing a lot of symptoms that led me to think they were about to pop. <laughs> So, like, she's super nervous. I'm like, oh gosh, I have no experience in, like, pregnant women about to have their baby right in front of me. And I have to act like, I, I got this. Like, you're okay. I'm gonna go get the nurse, you know? I'll enter your name into the system. You know, you gotta be calm and you gotta, even if you're, like kind of anxious about the situation like you have to pretend that you got it no problem like you know you're at the hospital you're at the right place uh we're gonna have everything you know everything's gonna be great no problem but inside i'm like oh my god she's about to pop like <laughs> it was so it's intense um so yeah that was interesting it's really fun though um you know you never know what kind of patient is gonna come at the door next um and like at some times there's like really nothing to do because there's no visitors so you can just like do your uh like i study for my classes but then there's these like little peaks where a lot of people come at once and you got like, kind of deal with that succulents we just came back from trader joe's and we bought this huge pot of succulents and we're gonna move it to a bigger pot that I have and it's prettier so I forgot which one which light is what Yo. Okay. So in this corner we have like a pot of soil that we made. Okay, so I need some of this. So what I'm gonna do now that I separated all the plants out is I'm gonna create like a circle with the mesh um, so that the dirt doesn't, you know, go through this hole too easily, you know? So I'm gonna make a circle.
Okay, so the thing is, I saw a little worm, a baby worm, like squiggling in here, and I don't know how to feel about that, guys. Do I want a worm growing in my succulent pot? Like, what if one day the worm grows to be like this big, and then I see it just crawling through my plants? Like, what if that happens? Good morning, everybody. Uh, actually, almost happy, almost a uh, good afternoon because it's 11:40. So, I'm going to my anatomy and physiology class, and we have a huge midterm today, and that's why my hair, I couldn't really fix my hair because um, I was in a bit of a rush. Anyway, let's get to class. <laughs> coming back from my anatomy class and I <laughs> we had a huge midterm today hence I kind of rushed this morning and I didn't get to do my hair so it's not my favorite right now uh, but I think I did really well uh, there was no question that I didn't know except for one which was what uh, important structure sits on top of the cella turcica in our um, in our brain and I took a neuroscience class so I know a lot of different glands and because I took that class uh, I got confused with another similar sounding gland in the brain around that not really around that area but it's like more behind posteriorly but so I got confused with, with pituitary gland and pineal gland the right answer was pituitary uh, because that sits on top of cella turcica but unfortunately, because of my abundant neuroscience knowledge, <laughs> I chose pineal gland because, oh my god, I don't know why that vocabulary, like we didn't even learn that in anatomy class. Like we don't learn about glands yet. We're not there yet. We're not there to the brain yet. But then like, I don't know why pineal gland suddenly came up in my head. Like the only thing we learned was pituitary gland. She mentioned it really, really briefly. So I was like, oh, I know that. Oh, that's just on top of cella turcica. But then right at the exam, suddenly the word pineal gland comes up, which I never learned in class, but I learned like two years ago in my neuroscience class. I don't know where that came from. So I'm just, oh. But other than that, I think I got everything right. So, and there were a couple of bonus points. So I'm hoping that the bonus points really cover for my mistake that I made. Ah, oh, I don't know where pineal gland came from. That was from two years ago, Grace. Like, what? Anyway, now I'll never forget. Pineal gland uh, is like more back here and then pituitary, pituitary gland, gland is on top of the cella turcica and the spinoid bone. Oh my gosh. It's okay. I did well. Good job, Grace. I studied a lot, a lot, a lot because we have one big midterm and then one big final, cumulative final. So I'm gonna be doing like um, what are the products that I've been recently using? What products have I liked um, recently? Everyone's skin is so different. Like some things will work great on me, and then for other people it might be terrible. Like oh my god, this is the worst product I've ever used. But I just wanted to show you, just for fun, um, things I've been really, really enjoying. So, okay, the first thing I want to show you guys is this. This is S Nature's Aqua Oasis Gel. It's a moisturizing gel cream. And this is great for oily skin. 
people because you know how for moisturizers there's this there's two factors first is like that hydrating that water that mm, like moist i hate the word moist but moist like hydrating that factor and then the second part is like barrier like that oiliness um not letting the water evaporate that barrier and so there's this like hydrating and then there's like this barrier oily barrier that makes up uh, like the factors of a moisturizer and for me since i'm an oily skinned person i have that good nice oily barrier my face often feels really dry because um where i live it's a semi-arid arid place and it's very dry here so it like evap all the water in my skin just evaporates so this one has um blue agave leaf um it feels like aloe you know how aloe gels are like clear and they're super hydrating but they're not oily at all it feels exactly like that but it's not aloe it's blue agave leaf pretty similar but a little bit different so it's really cooling it has allantoin i think that's like a calming ingredient i believe um, and then there's eight types of hyaluronic acid that's for the hydration so very hydrating it's like an aloe gel um, but it leaves enough um, barrier in my skin that it's perfect for my oily skin like it's not too much oil and it's so hydrating okay so similar to aloe but a little bit different great for oily skin terrible for dry skin because it will only hydrate your face and then it'll all evaporate because <laughs> you don't have enough oil to like keep it in oily skin okay and then okay here's another one that i've been using this is very famous brand round lab um birch juice and moisturizing cream this was a so-so for me it, it's not bad i use it at night because just because i have to use it i don't want to waste it it's it's not bad but it feels, if I use too much of it, it feels a little heavy. But I do use this at night when I need a little bit more moisturizing um, on those days when I feel like I need more, something more heavier. So if I use a lot, it's a bit heavy. So it was a so-so for me. This one, you don't have to worry about it. You can put a ton of it and be like, it feels great. Um, and then your skin is super hydrated the next day. And the next one that I really have been loving is this guy this is isn't tree yam root vegan milk cleanser so cleansers there are foam cleansers which is like your regular your regular uh type that a lot of people use like this like a foam cleanser that like bubbles up that you use every day and then there's oil cleanser which is basically like oil and then right in the middle of like foam and oil is milk cleanser um, it's really gentle and, but it's still great at remo removing makeup and it's not so heavy like oil and it actually looks like milk. Like when you like squeeze it out, it looks like milk, like vis a little, slightly viscous milk texture. And I use this instead of oil cleanser and it's so much more gentler. It's very gentle, um, because oil can be a little bit irritating because it's so heavy and it just drips all your the oil off your face but this one is much more gentle but it's still effective at cleansing so i really love this this actually came with a refill i bought this at olive young so it was a great deal i'll show you this one this one is from round lab this is also a very the same company as this one but their cleanser is like it's great it's nothing to like rave about but it's good it's a good foam cleanser it's good you know maybe i'll buy it again maybe i'll try a different one it's good but this one is very good. This is S Nature's Aqua Rice Foam. Um, the same company again with this one. This one is really gentle, but it's actually too gentle that it won't remove makeup as well. But this is great for morning cleansing. Very gentle, lightweight morning cleansing. Um, really good for sensitive skin. It doesn't irritate at all. And it has rice extract in it, so it doesn't brighten your skin just a tad bit. And then the next one I'm in love with is this sunscreen from Amuse. So Amuse, 
is it has great um makeup products like foundation um you know those like cushion foundations they're great my mom loves it because it's super moisturizing and the color and glow from this company amuse it's the best no one can beat it like it's it just has its own glow and perfect shade that they make like amazing and i also tried their sunscreen um and this one is a beige tone up sunscreen and i've been using this instead of foundation because it has a beige tone up so usually I, I really don't like tone up sunscreens that are like white and peachy because they make me look pale um but this one is beige so it has a hint of yellow in it so that makes it so much better and i've been really really enjoying this sunscreen and then this one is another tone up sunscreen so basically i like tone up sunscreens but it has to be beige but this one is like an ivory um ivory color so it's slightly whitish so this did look a little bit pale on me but um i used it for a while and i i really liked it because it never broke me out like it's so good for sensitive skin and it's not irritating at all um and that's why i kept using it but as i kept using it, i was like this you know this kind of makes me look pale so like i stopped using it so i have this whole jug of sunscreen left but i use this on my neck or like my body it's not like a white white it's like an ivory white so you i think you can judge um it actually looks like this covering it's really similar to the cover of the sunscreen so i think you can judge um whether this could fit you but it's great for delicate skin because it never ever broke me out so this is a hair um treatment uh, leave on treatment that you spray on. I don't really spray it directly, but I spray it on my hands and then I go like this and then I like move it around my hair. So I use this right before I go out anywhere. If my hair is like fuzzy or something, I just quickly, you know, swish it around and then my hair is shiny again. This one is the same um, company and the same like line um, of the like the products. But this one actually came as a free sample. It's a huge sample, actually. And this is a protein treatment. You can use this like a hair mask or a conditioner when you shower. So you have to wash it off. I don't know if I'll buy this. It came as a free sample, but that's actually really nice. So, But one thing that you have to know is that hair is actually dead. So, <laughs> so hair, you can't really... Um, revive it like this guy says here you can't really revive uh, hair because hair is just dead to begin with they're just dead cells uh filled with keratin which is a type of protein and so you can't really revive hair by using all these pro protein treatments but because there are a lot of like damages from the environment that could happen so easily to your hair you know you brush it you use hair irons um, the sun, you're, you're pulling your hair. So there's a lot of environmental damages that could easily happen to your hair, um, but you can't revive it because they're dead in the first place. But what you can do with these proteins is just make it a little bit better. Like make it look a little better by smushing in some proteins in there because it's made of proteins. So you just smush in some proteins like carotenes and other proteins in there to make it look better, but you can't really revive it. So these things can help, but it won't like revive your hair, like it says on the packaging here, but it will make it look a little better, like subtly, but I can tell the difference when I use this hair mask and versus when I don't, it looks much more healthier and shinier. And this one just adds more shine um, to my hair. So yeah. Just a little uh, anatomy lecture there about uh, how your hair is actually dead. This one I've been really liking. This is an eyeliner, but it's not like those strong, like black, thick. I put on eyeliner today, that kind of eyeliner. This is like kind of translucent, like really light, slightly water. It feels like watercolor. It's like a watery brown um eyeliner 
I already have a lot of like eyelashes so I don't really if I put on eyeliner it looks too heavy because like you know but this one is really light so I can use this like really lightly um, if I feel the need really subtle it's really natural which I like it's hard to tell on the camera but you can make it really 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 light oh I forgot to show you guys this so I tried this out this is Uso's nose pack like this apparently get rid of your it gets rid of your blackheads on your nose not the most dramatic thing but nice to have around so so effect wouldn't buy again but it was fun to use <laughs> yeah basically it was really fun to use because it's like a small like nose strip that you just put on and then you just like do your thing and then you take it off wash it put your second nose patch and then do your thing and then you check it out it looks no different but that was fun you just i just do this for fun yeah don't buy this guys uh, but it, it might work great for you but it didn't work for me Oh, this is Greek too. This is the lipstick I've been using from Etude. Over glowy. It's really glowy. It's a cute red color. Oh, and this color is apple red. Yeah. <gasps> no, I have one more thing. Don't get tired yet. I have one more thing. So this is a bag I've been using lately. It's from Kate Spade. Just a normal bag, nothing too fancy. But the reason I've been loving this is it fits so much stuff, you guys. I have some stuff in here, but I took most of it out. But it fits so much stuff. But the most important thing is that it fits my iPad. Ready? It fits my iPad. This has been so useful. I have a lot of a couple of other bags. But just because this fits my iPad so perfectly, and at the same time it fits so many other stuff, I've been using this bag the most. Um, it's great. I love this bag um, because I have everything on my iPad. Like I love this iPad. Like I use it so well because I use Good Notes on it, and I take all my notes in this, and then I annotate all my um, the professor's PowerPoint with this. I do everything with this. So I carry this everywhere with me. And so this bag that can carry my iPad automatically makes it my favorite. And you can just hold it like this or you can put it around your body like a satchel, like this. But normally uh, I just go like this. Normally I go like this or I go like this. I take this part off and then I just pull it like this. But I've been using this so well just because it fits my iPad, my precious iPad. I'll circle it. Albuquerque at night. Oh yeah, 완전 예쁘겠다. 보내야 되나? 여기 얘도 이렇게 돌려도 돼. 음, 그러니까. 이렇게 이렇게 이렇게. 잠 따라서 해도 돼. 무기 이렇게 해줘. 어. Like 뭐지 그 이렇게 막비 이렇게 비처럼 내리는 거 있잖아. 줄 그런 거 알아서 그냥 조명을 달아서 색깔 변하게 하는 것도. 되게 많은 거 같아. 조명도 간단하게 그냥 색깔을 붙이는 거야. 딱 몇시부터 몇시까지. 우리 옆집에도 저 라이크 같은 거 했다? 이제는 저 한물 간 거야. 오늘 딱 가까워갖고 그나마 조금 벌룬 같은 게 생겼고 그 전부터 원래 우리가 계속 와, 계속 있었잖아. 그러니까 이제 어. 막 이렇게 몇개 있어도 이렇게 특이하지 않은데 막 자동차가 이렇게 올라간다든지 이랬을 때좀 특이하긴 하지. 음. 근데 엄청 천천히 움직여. 그래서 하나도 안 무섭고. 아. 아 근데 어떤 거는 꽤 높이 가더라고. 응. 어떤 응. 거는 되게 낮게 가는데 어떤 거는 막 저기 막 높이가 어, 있어. 높이 진짜 무서울 거야. 그거는 나안 못하. 어, 높은 거는 너무 무서워. 그 전문가들이 할 거야. 왜냐면 기압 
자체가 다르기 때문에 숨 쉬는 것도 그렇고. 그러니까. 일단 <웃음> 잡들이 너무 좋아. 나, 나, 나. 세리 이도 좋고. 이렇게 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 운도 이렇게 운동하지. 응. 더 높이 하면 뛴다니까. 잡는 날. 근데 이것도 하다가 어느 정도 하다가. 뛰어. 응, 이렇게 하다가 아니 이렇게 하다가. 뿌리, 옳지, 옳지. 뛰어, 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 뿌리, 뛰어. 그러니까 무게가 있어. 그래갖고 지가 알아 이거. 이거 이렇게 이렇게 놀게끔 해줘야 돼 그리고 너무 세게는 하지 말고 할수 있어 머리 근데 인간해가지고는 얘는 아프다고 하네 더 현란해야 되나? 음. 예스! <웃음> 이렇게 하면 이게 무거운 거야 얘가 몸이 오! 몸이 무거워 잘했어 머리 무거워. 옳지 오! 예! 너는 그렇게 이렇게 근데... 운동하는 거지 <웃음> 힘들어? 지쳤어? 이런 지쳤구만 아이고 잘하쇼 당황스러워? 응, 어. 딱 이렇게 잡는 느낌도 좋아 이거 되게 좋다 위치가 어, 좋거든 그 얘랑 사이즈가 뭔가 어, 맞아 어, 어, 어. 느낌도 또 이거 지가 잡아 잡아 <웃음>